In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a fetal maternal bleed screen using the Ortho Fetal Screen 2 kit. Um, you're going to need the kit contents, which is going to include the um, indicator cells, um, a positive and a negative control, which I'm going to be using as my specimen since I don't actually have a patient, and then you're also going to need um, the antibody reagent. Um, you're also going to need a couple tubes. Um, and normally you would be doing a patient specimen with this, but like I said, I don't have one. Uh, you're also going to need a timer, um, an incubator set at 37 degrees Celsius, and you're going to need a cell washer. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is label your specimen tubes. Like I said, I'm just doing the positive and the negative control. Then you're going to go ahead and um, grab your uh, positive and negative control and you're just going to make sure you mix them really well and then you're just going to add one drop to the appropriate tubes. Um, so there we go, next one, one drop. And then after you're done doing that, uh, just go ahead and grab your antibody reagent and you're going to do one drop in each tube as well. And then after you've added your drop of the antibody reagent, give it a quick mix. And then you're going to pop it in your um, incubator. And you're going to get a timer set for 15 minutes and start it up. After this, we're going to go ahead and take those out of the incubator. And we're going to put them into our cell washer. And we're going to wash them uh, four times. So four times, and then after that, we'll go ahead and take them out, and we'll move on to the next step. You can see those are nice and washed. And the next step will be grabbing the uh, indicator cells, giving them a quick mix to make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom. And then we're just going to go ahead and add one drop of the indicator cells to each of our tubes. And then uh, after we're done adding the indicator cells, we're going to give the specimens a quick little mix and pop them in our centrifuge for 15 to 20 seconds. Um, now, what you're going to be looking for here after they've spun is you're going to want to uh, resuspend them gently. And then you're going to go to a cell viewer, which I'm about to show you. And um, you're going to observe five fields and you're looking for three rosettes. Now, I did my best to show you the positive control here so you can see the rosettes. And there's quite a few in some of these uh, fields. And uh, that's basically all you're looking for. And if you get a positive, next step would be a Klein Howard Betke. And thank you for watching.